This is a public service announcement to help end eating disorders. Now, advertisers often emphasize sexuality and the importance of physical attractiveness in an attempt to sell products. No brainer there. But researchers are concerned that this places undue pressure on women and men to focus on their appearance. In a recent survey by Teen People magazine, 27% of the girls felt that the media pressures them to have a perfect body. And a poll conducted in 1996 by the international ad agency Saatchi and Saatchi found that ads made women fear being unattractive or old. How gross. Researchers suggest advertising media may adversely impact women's body image, which can lead to unhealthy behavior as women and girls strive for an ultra-thin body type idealized by the media. The average woman sees 400 to 600 advertisements per day, and by the time she is 17 years old, she has received over 250,000 commercial messages through the media. That's crazy. Only 9% of commercials have a direct statement about beauty, but mo many more implicitly emphasize the importance of beauty, particularly those that target women and girls. Now, one study of Saturday morning tour commercials found that 50% of the commercials aimed at girls spoke about physical attractiveness, while none of the commercials aimed at boys referred to appearance. Other studies found 50% of advertisements in teen girl magazines and 50%, 56% of television commercials aimed at female viewers used beauty as a product appeal. This constant exposure to female-oriented advertisements may duly influence girls to become self-conscious about their bodies and to obsess over their physical appearance as a measure of their own worth, oftentimes leading to eating disorders. So in the words of Sarah Kapelkin, how to talk to your daughter about her body. Step one, don't talk to your daughter about her body, except to teach her how it works. Don't say anything if she's lost weight. Don't say anything if she's gained weight. If you think that your daughter's body looks amazing, don't say that. Here's some things you can say instead. You look so healthy. You look so strong. You're glowing and happy. It's beautiful. Better yet, too, compliment her on something that has nothing to do with her body. Don't comment on other women's bodies either. Not at all. Not one single comment. Not a nice one or a mean one. Teach her about kindness toward others, but also kindness toward yourself. And don't you dare talk about how much you hate your body in front of your daughter or talk about your new diet. In fact, don't go on a diet in front of your daughter. Buy healthy food, cook healthy meals, eat healthy food. But don't say, I'm not eating carbs right now. Your daughter should never think that carbs are evil or that any food is evil. Because shame over what you eat only leads to shame about yourself, which in turn can lead to shameful eating disorders. Encourage your daughter to run because it makes her feel less stressed. Encourage your daughter to climb mountains because there's nowhere better to explore your spirituality than at the peak of the universe. Encourage your daughter to surf or rock climb or mountain bike because it scares her, and that's a good thing sometimes. Help your daughter love soccer or rowing or hockey because sports make her a better leader and a more confident woman. Explain that no matter how old you get, you'll never stop needing good teamwork. Never make her play a sport she's absolutely in love with. Prove to your daughter that women don't need men to move their furniture. They are strong and healthy and can do it themselves most of the time. <laughs> Teach your daughter how to cook kale. Teach your daughter how to bake chocolate cake made with healthier ingredients. Pass on your mom's own recipe for Christmas morning coffee cake and pass on your love of being outside. Maybe you and your daughter both have thick thighs or wide rib cages. It's easy to hate these non-size zero body parts. Don't hate them. Tell your daughter that her legs can run a marathon if she wants to, and her rib cage is nothing but a carrying case for strong lungs. She can scream, and she can sing, and she can lift up the world if she wants. Remind your daughter that the best thing she can do with her body is to use it to mobilize her beautiful soul. Those are the things that will win over all of the other negatives out there and perhaps save a girl from the awfulness of feeling any other way than beautiful.